Fourth grade lesson 8.2 is multiples of fractions. You'll find this is super similar to lesson 8.1. I think you'll pick it up quickly. Our essential question is how can you write a product of a whole number and a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction? So kind of the same thing as we did before, but we're gonna be looking at how to put those into action. So Jen is making four pans of baked ziti for each pan. She needs two thirds cup of cheese. Her measuring cup can scoop one third cup of cheese. How many scoops of cheese does she need for the four pans? So just for one pan, she's got, she's got to put two thirds of the cheese in there. She's got a scoop that does one third and then one more third. So she's gonna need to do one scoop, one third, and then one more scoop, which is two times one third. It's one third added to itself two times. So this is kind of the same as we did before, two times one third, same thing. There are four pans though, here's where it's a little different. Four pans of baked ziti, each pan needs two thirds cup of cheese. So we need two times one third here, that's two thirds, two times one third here, which is really four times one third, or four thirds, one, two, three, four. Then we need two times one third here. That's one, two, three times we've done that now, which is two times three is six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six times one third. And then two times one third again, that's four times we did two times one third, right? One, two, three, four times we did two one thirds, two one thirds, two one thirds, two one thirds. That's what that's trying to say. Four times two is eight, and eight times one thirds is eight thirds. So if I have four times two thirds, that's the same as four times two times one third. Four times two, times one third because four two thirds this is two thirds this is two thirds this is two thirds this is two thirds four of them were one two three four five six seven eight so four times two is eight times one third and that is eight thirds so what they're saying here is we can take the four times that we did this and we know it's one third scoop at a time so we just did this four times two to give us the eight one thirds groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Joe needs eight third size scoops of cheese for the four pans of ZT, which is a noodle casserole thing. What if Jen decides to make 10 pans of ZD? We just really don't wanna be drawing 10 pans if we don't have to. Describe a pattern you could use to find the number of scoops of cheese she would need. So we know that it's two thirds for each one. And we need to do ten, that 10 times over. Two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds 10 times. That means if I broke this down into their one third scoops into their unit rate, I have one third plus one third, right? That is the same as two times, as two thirds, one third plus one third. And that is really two times one third, right? This is all the stuff we did in the previous lesson. Now I wanna do that 10 times. Does that help see how we split that apart? And so now that these are the whole numbers, I can do 10 times two, which is 20. And that would equal 20 third so she needs 20 scoops from that one third cup scoop so we kind of pulled it apart we pulled this part apart and then we called that two times one third like we did in the previous lesson so that we have this whole number then we could do the 10 pans and put it all back together again to make it easy all right back to those multiple multiples again where we were counting by numbers you've learned to write multiples of unit fractions like we know that multiples for counting by three is three, six, nine, twelve. We learned in the last lesson that multiples of one third would be one third, two third, three third, four third, five third. And we could also write them as multiples of a non unit or more than one unit fraction. So here's how we would do that we could use a number line to write the multiples of two fifths. 
so that we can see it happen. Once you see it happen, it should make some connections for you here. I have uh, all the numbers between 0 and 1, 5 fifths is 1, right? And then continuing on to here. We're going by 2 fifths, so we are between 0 and 1. We are split into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal pieces. And I'm going to jump two of them. 1 times 2 fifths is 2 fifths. Then I'll go again. 2 times 2 fifths is 4 fifths. Then I'll go again. 3 times 2 fifths is 6 fifths. And I'll go again. 4 times 2 fifths is, well, what is 4 times 2? 8 fifths. And so you're noticing this pattern, right? Two fifths, four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths. My denominator isn't changing. My numerator is counting by twos, the multiples of twos, because it was two fifths. So two fifths, four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths, and ten fifths. You're right. Five times two fifths is ten fifths. Multiples of two fifths are two fifths, four fifths, six fifths, eight fifths, and ten fifths. And now if they wanted me to write 6 fifths as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction this time, before it was nine unit fractions, now we want it as a unit fraction this time. Well, if I have 3 times 2 fifths, we have three of those. We saw this up here, 3 times 2 fifths, 3 times 2 is 6. We get 6 fifths. That equals 6 fifths. We will write 6 fifths as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. This is what we did in lesson 8.1, right? That's 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. It is 6 times 1 fifth. So let's take a look at what that, and they have it modeled here actually. I went ahead and, and did it the way you were doing it in the last lessons, but here it is modeled 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, 5 fifth, 6 fifths. That's 6 times 1 fifth. So 3 times 2 fifths equals 6 fifth is the same as 6 times 1 fifth when you need to have it as a unit fraction where there's the 1 on top. Explain how to use repeated addition to write the multiple of a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Well, if I have here, we started with 6 fifths. We ended up with 6 fifths, so we'll use that. We know that that is 1 fifth added together, added to itself 6 times. 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth, 6 times. And since we know that repeated addition is multiplication, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those times we did that, 6 and how, what did we do six times? We did the one-fifth six times. So I can convert this six-fifths and understand that that is one-fifth added to itself six times, six of the one-fifths, and then just go ahead and do it as a multiple or a product of a whole number and the unit fraction. All right, let's practice a few on the Sharon Show. They want us to write three multiples of three-eighths, and they have it modeled here. Um, I have... Between 0 and 8 eighths is 1 full, and I have it broken into 8 equal pieces, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to get there to the 1. And I'm counting by 3s, so 1, 2, 3. We can even do the arrows if that is helpful to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, these aren't here. 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are all multiples. This one, this one, and this one are multiples of three eighths. So one times three eighths is three eighths. Two times three eighths is six eighths. And notice again, two times three is six. So that's helpful. Three times three eighths is nine eighths. Notice three times three is nine. So multiples of three eighths are three eighths. 6 eighths, and 9 eighths. Hopefully these pieces are falling into place. All right, let's continue on to numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the Sharon Show. List the next four multiples of the fraction. Well, if you notice here, when we were counting multiples of 3 eighths, it was not the denominator that changed at all, but the 3 is just like counting by 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12, blah, 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 right? 
it's going to be the same. Our numerator counts by threes. Our denominator stays a six. So we're going to keep those denominators as six and get the multiples of this fraction. Three, six will be three, six, six, which is one whole. Then six, seven, eight, nine, six. Then nine, 10, 11, 12, six, which is two whole because 12 divided by six is two exactly, right? Then 12, 13, 14, 15, six. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Denominator stays the same. That's all you do. Okay, we have 2 tenths. So let's put our denominator all the way across because the denominator is not changing on this. For the multiples, it's staying the same. We have 2 tenths, and then 2 more would be 4 tenths. 2 more would be 6, right? 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 tenths is one whole. 10 divided by 10 is 1, exactly, one whole. So that's how you do the multiples of a fraction. Hopefully that's pretty easy for you. Write the product as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So here we have 3 times 3 fourths. This is not a unit fraction because 3 is not 1. Unit fractions have to have a numerator of 1. So we have 3 fourths. 3 fourths and 3 fourths again. 3, 6, 9 fourths. That's going to be a total of how many 1 fourths? How many 1 fourths will it take me to get to this same spot? I counted by 3 here. How many would it take if I was just doing 1 fourth? It would take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to do 9 times 1 fourth. And here's a hint 3 times 3 is 9. So that's the same. Okay, try this one, see how you do. They want me doing two times four six. There's four six once, and then four more six, that's eight six, there it is. But they want it as a unit fraction, meaning I need to have one six as my fraction, unit fraction meaning one is my numerator, only one of the pieces that are cut into six. So how many of them would it take if I was just doing the unit fraction? One, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could have done two times four is eight. I hope that was enough to make sense to you on how to piece this all together. I hope you're ready, you're feeling ready to go on to Think Central. Uh, if you're needing extra help, let me know.